So let me just tell you a um, praise report. While I wasn't able to come up here because I know I want to give space and time for those who want to come up here, but um, I came here this morning with a swollen tonsils and I was healed just praising and worshiping God this morning. Amen. So the power and the presence of the Most High God is in this place. So sometimes if you're just too shy to come up here, just believe that He will heal you wherever you are sitting or standing. Because he's a God that heals. Yeah. Amen? Amen? So um, I am honored and privileged to be sharing about um, tithing and offering and giving this morning. I believe with all of my heart that um, I live to give and I give to live. Amen? Because God did that for me in the first place. He gave his one and only son for me and you died on the cross for me and you, for you and me, so we can have a life that is overflowing with His goodness. Amen. So I'm going to read, if you have your Bibles with you, if you have your iPhones with you, or iPad, or did you bring your whole computer? It's okay. <laughs> Let's go to Isaiah, Isaiah 43. I'll read from verse 16. Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea and a path through the mighty wars, who brings forth the chariot and horse, the army and the power, they shall lie down together, they shall arise, they are extinguished, they are quenched like a wing. 18. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. I was smiling when Ross says, God is doing a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beast of the field will honor me. And I will just jump to verse 23. You have not brought me the sheep for your word of nor have you honored me with your sacrifices. That's the word saying. I have not caused you to serve with grain offerings, nor wearied you with incense. 24. You have brought me no sweet cane with money, nor have you satisfied me with the fat of your sacrifices. But you have burdened me with your sins, and you have wearied me with your iniquities. But God says in verse 25, I, even I, am he who blots out your transgressions for my own sake and I will not remember your sins. Amazing. How amazing is our God. I don't know what you've been through, what you're going through, what has the years been. You tell me, Joanne, you just don't know what I have done. It's alright. I don't have to know. God knows. But His mercies are new every morning. He loves you with an unconditional, everlasting love. That it doesn't matter to God what the years have been. Um, Joanne, I'm just not the type who gives. It's okay. You know, one time Pastor Bo said, if you come here today and you're still not thinking of what to give or, or how much or how, you can go home tonight and pray and ask God, Lord, what have I to give? Is it my time? Is it my money? Is it me that you need, Lord? Is it where I work? You know, God sees our hearts. And He doesn't look at the amount or what we have. I mean, the excess that we have. He only wants what you can give. He's not asking for more than that. And God is promising us that we shall not remember the former things anymore. But He will do a new thing. It will spring forth right before our very eyes. What is happening here in our church right now is breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough. You know, I remember when I was in the Philippines and um, the um, baskets are going around and I have nothing in my pocket. And I asked God, Lord, I'm not going to leave this church, I'm not going to give you anything. God said, what do you have? And I saw that golden button in my blouse, and I took it off, and I put it in that envelope. And I said, God, this is all I have. 
but they never felt condemned. In fact, it went out there feeling that I have given my own. And God saw that. And you know, recently, I went for a new job and they started me from the very bottom of uh, the salary scale. But I kept praying, I kept tithing, I kept believing God. And uh, when I sent the email to the manager asking her, I think I deserve better than this because I've been working as an RN for a while now. And uh, this manager um, went for leave and somebody else came in her stead. And he, whoever the manager, that manager was there for temporarily. He, he changed my salary 10 times. Not what <laughs> I started with. 10 times more an hour. So you know what? It must be the Holy Spirit because when that temporary manager asked me to sign the new contract, I told him, I think God sent you here for me. Do you know that God can send a random stranger in your life so he can make a way in the wilderness? He can create roads and water in the desert for you and me because God is his promise. We will live a life of faith and He will see our hearts and He will give our hearts desires according to His will and promises for us. And everybody will say, Amen. And so um, as the baskets are going around, let us just pray, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus that as we have sowed our seeds or as we are sowing right now, you will fulfill your promise that you will give us a ten. 30, 60, 100 for return. We honor you, Lord. Thank you for loving us first. We love you. All this we pray in Jesus' name.